Hello everyone and happy Tuesday. How are you? Are you so excited for the upcoming holiday? Of course, this only applies to uh, those of us in the United States. We are celebrating Thanksgiving this Thursday and it's one of my very favorite holidays. I am Southern and the meal is epic. <laughs> we talk about it all year long and then while we're eating it we talk about it some more and we talk about this year's versus last year's and do you remember that one year when the dressing was just like perfection <laughs> this year it won't look quite like it has in years past but uh we are choosing to um make the best of it you know i didn't have a thanksgiving with my family for nine years when we lived across the country it's just a hard time of year to travel no matter what's going on and so one of the ways that i always lifted my spirits and um, got into the mood of the holiday was preparing my family's traditional meal and dishes it takes three days <laughs> whether you are cooking for eight or 28 it takes three days to make it all by yourself um and knowing that i was uh preparing the same dishes that I grew up making with my mom. Um, <laughs> you know, that has all its own stories. The injustice of the fact that I had to cut the marshmallows with the scissors every year. And my sister, who was only 20 months younger than I am, got to toast and tear up bread for dressing. Like, do you know how hard it is to cut marshmallows with scissors? how gummy they get. And so every year we hash that out, right? She was so lucky and I'm so put upon. <laughs> but honestly, like growing up and making those dishes with my mom and my sister um, are just memories I treasure forever. And so while I was far from home, I made those dishes with my own kids and uh, none of them had to cut marshmallows. That's not my favorite. That's, that's something my dad loves to eat, that thing. Um, I've never liked it. So I didn't make it, <laughs> but uh, teaching them how to make them and creating those own memories. And still, that is a way that we are going to um, embrace the holiday this season and still enjoy it the way we can, the best way we can. And just knowing that my mom and I were both making dressing at the same time on opposite ends of the country was comforting to me. And that on the same day, we were eating the same meal still, even though I couldn't be with all of them. Um, and then we would call, right, FaceTime or whatever, and uh, the phone would get passed around. We get to talk to everybody. I was not planning to talk about this at the beginning. This is totally just uh, whatever. But um, so, you know, if you're, if you're feeling disappointed about this upcoming Thanksgiving, I hope Maybe doing a few of those things can um, make you feel closer to people you can't be with, whether uh, because of safety reasons or because they're no longer with us. Um, those are things that I always took comfort in when I was missing my family during the holidays. And so um, I don't remember why I was talking about that. <laughs> I had a good reason. Um, and if you're looking for that, uh, holiday flush or glow, I recommend you sprint from downstairs to the upstairs and back again, because that's what I just did. And that's why I'm a little breathy. I, <laughs> I forgot something. So um, here we are. Hi, welcome and happy Thanksgiving. That's where that started for those of you who are, are celebrating it. And I hope you have the best version of it possible for you this year. Um, as you know, the doors to the society have been open for the last nine days. And that's why we've been doing these special style snacks and extra style snacks. And the car closes tonight. So today is your last chance to join the Stunning Style Society, get the classic uh, winter classic wardrobe guide, access to the shopping portal, the curated 40 piece capsule wardrobe that I have put together for you this season, um, the 100 outfit templates that I've put together for you, the outfit calendars that you get every month so you don't even have to pick your outfit. <clears throat> and um, 
access to the members only Facebook group where I do the weekly style steps and help you um, walk week by week, step by step, um, putting together and curating your winter wardrobe that's perfect for you. Not a carbon copy of mine and not a carbon copy of what's in the guide. That is a literally a guide. It's a template and we use that and then we work through these style steps to customize it and make it perfect for you. And it all leads up to an album of outfits that you absolutely love that you can refer to later and um, a wardrobe that works for you and looks like you and makes you look and feel amazing. And if you want um, a closet clean out purge, the easiest closet clean out you've ever done because we've been working through it mentally for 12 weeks. And at the end, um, it's really, really effortless to come through and say, no, that's not mine. Just I, now I know I don't love it and I can let it go or say, oh my gosh, you know what? This has just been an absolute favorite. I, I can't wait to wear it again next season. Or, you know, I think my wardrobe would have been more complete if I had had this item. So I'm going to put that on my list and be on the lookout for the perfect one for me. And today I, and so you can learn more about the Stunning Style Society and all of these things by going to stunningstyle.com forward slash society. And as I created the guide this, this season, I kept in mind um, the idea of cozy and chic so that even if we're spending more time at home, we can still look and feel fantastic and take advantage of the fact that we'll be home more and be cozy and appropriate for that without staying in our jammies all day. Because like we talked about last week, um, getting up and getting dressed can be really a big boost for your mental health in a challenging season. So today for our final special style snack, I wanted to talk to you about cozy and chic winter wardrobe essentials and a few of my favorite things from the winter wardrobe guide, uh, which I was supposed to do this yesterday, but I, I had read to you the wrong, off the wrong day of my content calendar when I told you that on Friday. So I apologize. I That was a different one. And so uh, this is for today. And I promised you the cheese pants story. And I will tell you that at the end. <laughs> it's one of my finer moments. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you don't want to miss that. Stick around. Um, so let's get cozy, right? <laughs> As we talked about last week, this winter, we will be tempted to get cozy, maybe a little too cozy as we spend more time at home this season. But you can be cozy and chic, marrying fashion and function. This is also something we talked about last week. So as you're pulling together your winter wardrobe, whether you join the society or not, I still want you to have um, a winter wardrobe that you love <coughs> and that uh, will make you look forward to getting up and getting dressed rather than looking for excuses to stay in your jammies all day. So these are some essentials that you can include so that that happens. And the very first essential that um, you should include for a cozy and chic winter, well, I mean, you should include these every winter because I had these last winter also, and they were, oh, the runaway hit of the season. They, well, they were one of the runaway hits of the season. Hold on. I have got to, um, too many things, too many images open for you again. So let me just hide a few of these so I can get to one I want. There we go. My needs are greater than my capacity here. This is what I call magic pants. And I have more than one pair of magic pants what are magic pants? You've heard me talk about them a little bit in this last week. Um, members of the society, the stunners know what I've been talking about because I love them. 
but magic pants are pants that are comfortable enough to wear all day. You could sleep in them. They're so comfortable. You could do yoga in them. You could squat in them. You could do anything in these pants. I have worn these pants on um, overnight flights, like 24 hour travel. I have worn these to a party. We're not, I mean, cause right now you're like, yeah, oh, I've got some of those April. They're called pajamas. <laughs> Maybe yoga pants, joggers. We all know what that is. No, 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 no. So you've got the comfort factor, right? But they also look fabulous. And so these I've also worn to a party. I've I would wear these to the office if back when I had. They're actually corporate. Like they're actually meant to be dress up pants. That's the category they were in. On the retailer's website. These are not loungewear. Um, but you can curl up on the couch on them and still look per perfectly put together, right? But I can sit in the floor and play cards with my kids or curl up and read a book with one of my girls. I could also dress these up to go out. And so when I wore this outfit, um, I dressed them up to show you what I would do with them because, you know, these are, this is last year's pants. I'll show you some of this year's pants, but the concept is the same. They're very similar looking. Um, to show you what these would look like if I was dressing up and going out, but what I was actually doing that day was much more, uh, I needed function that day. So um, I was getting out the Christmas tree for my bedroom. And here's a little, little corner of our seating area in our bedroom with the fireplace and the, I love this spot. <laughs> we talked about this oh, a couple months ago when I was uh, agonizing over rugs and things. Um, and so I was getting out um, the Christmas tree for my bedroom, just making sure all the lights work in case I need to get anything else. And I had on these sneakers instead. And so, <clears throat> um, same pants, same sweater, uh, totally different needs and days and, um, functions. And so, you know, but they look just as put together. Cause I was, crawling around on the floor, right? Hooking up, plugging in lights and, and, and this is obviously a fake tree. It did not snow in my bedroom, thankfully, right? So putting it together, pulling it out, like I was, I was on the floor wrestling things and these pants did not give me a moment's pause. Um, another pair of magic pants. So there's a similar pair to those black ones in the current wardrobe guide. And I actually have those in navy. They're available in navy and black. And I bought them uh, in a previous season in navy. And I just love those too. Um, so we have those in the guide. And then we also have, hold on, they're underneath things again. These, I've showed you these. These are like joggers. They're so comfortable. They're a black on black leopard pattern and they have a faux leather tuxedo stripe down the side. I mean, I could sleep in these too. And they come in other patterns. So if leopard's not your, your thing, they have other patterns and they're just as comfortable and fantastic. And this is an outfit that, um, I mean, this, this got so much love on social media and you look like Audrey Hepburn and, and all of that. And uh, yeah, I mean, these are totally Audrey Hepburn pants, but I could run in them if I wanted to. So my winter wardrobe would not be complete without some magic pants because I 
I do have six kids and, and my, I do get down on the floor and I, I do clean up my house and I pull out my Christmas tree and um, I cook and, you know, I need to be able to move around. The next thing that should be, or at least for me, a winter wardrobe essential is I really do have too many pictures of them. Doesn't like that. A fantastic t shirt. And Sorry. My computer is kind of choking. I have so many things open. It's moving so slowly and streaming is kind of making it worse. It's not letting me grab this one. Let me, um, we'll, we'll come back to that one, the t-shirt one. Let's talk about cozy sweaters. And then maybe as I cut, you know, close some of these images, it will let me, let me grab them. It won't, it, it, it's, it's upset at me. So a cozy sweater can be dressed up or dressed down. Just like you saw with that purple sweater, I dressed it up. And I also wore it for a regular day at home. So look for ones that um, feel great on your skin in a color that makes you glow or just feel really great and flatter. Um, they flatter your shape. And what that will look like for each of us can be a little different. The colors that I would go for may not be the colors that you go for, but I love a red sweater. And this is just as easy to dress up as it is to make casual. I wore it casually uh, yesterday. This was yesterday. And I dressed it down with some booties. And then I, um, you know, I have that dressier navy coat that I could have, that I love to wear casually. But I really went uh, more casual with this. And, um, chose my navy puffer jacket. <laughs> Guys, my husband's favorite thing to do is to make me make ridiculous faces while he's clicking on the camera. And so he likes to say things that make me laugh. And um, so this is an homage to him and making me laugh. But this is a really casual outfit. I could dress it up just as easily with some navy magic pants and just um, a dressier, a little bit dressier jacket and shoes. But this sweater can go either way. And so it'll be, it'll be cozy and chic for a winter at home, but next winter I'm going to want to wear it just as much. And I might dress it up just a little bit more when life gets a little more normal. Um, the next, item that I love to have in as a winter wardrobe essential is fun for my feet. And I've always loved shoes. They've always been a weakness of mine. Uh, my mom likes to tell the story that when I was a little girl, uh, I took my first steps in her heels that I, you know, kind of crawled over to them and, um, stood up in her heels and started walking. And so, you know, I, I've always loved them. <laughs> They've always been a thing for me. But 
this winter, I need shoes that are easy to get on and off. And because being totally honest, I'm going to kick my shoes off when I curl up on the couch with one of my kids to read a book or when we watch one of our family movies. I need them to be wearable. I need to be walkable and I need them to be short distance sprintable. <laughs> like I just sprinted up the stairs and back down again. And um, it, it has to fit my life. And this winter, I definitely need that. I also need shoes that will keep my feet warm and dry because I will go outside. And because I'm always freezing, always freezing. I keep a space heater under my desk. I mean, the heat is on at like 74 right now. And I keep, a, I have to turn it off while I'm here because I don't want to, I don't want to um, irritate you with the, the white noise, but I have to be warm. <laughs> and I need my shoes to keep me warm. And so this is, we're back to my Christmas tree because I just like looking at it. But these leopard sneakers are fun for my feet. They are so comfortable. They feel like marshmallows um, and they're chic. I love them. I wear these sneakers all year long, four seasons a year. There aren't a lot of things that I can say I wear four seasons a year because you know your needs are different based on the weather. But that is something fun that I like to wear. And I don't, I don't go barefoot in my house because um, it hurts my knees and my back to be barefoot if I'm on my feet all day. I, I have to wear shoes or I will be hurting before dinner time. So I do wear these if I'm staying home all day. I, I always put on some sneakers or something, something comfortable because the hard floor just, uh, just kills me. Um, Ta-da, I closed enough things I can now get to I wanted. Right? Open sesame. There we go. Um, so let's go back to the t-shirts. You know, it's it is obviously we're coming up on winter. And when I'm busy on really busy days, I and moving around a lot and I actually do kind of warm up like on Friday when we pull out all of our Christmas stuff I am going to be in a t-shirt um when tomorrow when I'm cooking like crazy and it is so hot in my kitchen I will be in a t-shirt because I will be overheating I like to layer my t-shirts under my sweaters I like to layer them under cardigans and there are good t-shirts and there are not good t-shirts I don't mean the, your college t-shirt that you've had for, we don't need to say how many years it's been since you got it. The neck is stretched out, you sleep in it. Maybe your kids sleep in it. The dog has mistaken it for its own. Um, but this is a black and white striped long sleeve t-shirt that is featured in the Winter Classic Wardrobe Guide. And I have wanted a t-shirt like this for ages. You know that stripes are my favorite color. I buy striped shirts like it's my job, but I don't have one like this. Most of them are navy, uh, like the ones in the stores. It's hard to find a black and solid true white one. This is true white and black. And I love the um, uh, the, oh my gosh, where's the word? The size of the stripes, that's not the word I'm looking for, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, I like how wide they are and that they're not too narrow for me. And so this is a t-shirt and plus now I live in just a little bit more of a temperate climate. I don't live in the Arctic tundra anymore. And there will be warmer days and a t-shirt is the perfect substitute for a sweater if it's just not sweater weather. And it kind of does that around here, you know, it was, downright balmy two days ago, short sleeve t-shirt weather. And then yesterday and today it's in the thirties, well, the lows are in the thirties, but it, it's still quite cold, quite cold. And so there will be days I want t-shirts instead. Picking the right ones makes all the difference. And just like your sweaters, you want one that um, 
skims your shape so it's flattering you don't want to drown in it colors that light you up something that feels good against your skin and that color that lights you up could be a neutral or it could be a special color or a special pattern that you happen to love look for one that looks nice the next thing that is a winter wardrobe essential for me is layers because you can start out cold and then you can wind up too warm or if you're just really cold you definitely want to layer but I love a duster cardigan and this black one is in the shopping portal and it is perfect for me. I love the length. It also comes in petite for those of you who are petite. Um, I believe it comes in plus sizes. I would have to double check on that. Um, and that's something we look for in items for the shopping portal for petites and plus sizes as well. Um, uh, it has a ribbed texture. I don't know if you can see that in this picture. If I zoom in, let's look. Yeah, you can see that, right? It's got pockets, but they're not floppy and droopy, which is really important to me. And um, it's just structured and I love the fit of it. So this to me, I, I had on, well, I had one on just before, like, before I came on here, I took it off to come on here um, because I, I'm cold. I just, I need more. I need to be warm. And with this, I can layer up appropriately so that I'm never too hot and I'm never too cold. I know that we have our other cardigans and I'm not, and I'm talking about your faded, stretched out, hole in the sleeve, shan't be seen in public cast off. We've all got them. It was a favorite before it met its, you know, its end, pilled, stretched. It just doesn't look anymore, but we can't bring ourselves to let it go because it's so great in all these other ways. And so we've relegated it to wearing it at home, wearing it at night. Well, you can still have a fabulous one that you wear at home and you wear at night that doesn't have holes in it. So you can keep that one. You can keep it for bedtime or, or, or whatever, but during the day, have one that is in a color that goes great with your wardrobe. It doesn't have to be black. It could be in a color that it's your favorite color, your signature color, or a pattern that you love. Anything that you love, but it feels great, right? A gorgeous coat is also something that completes your look. And this is something that we've talked about in the society recently. Some of the members were saying, you know what? I never realized how important it was to finish my outfit with a nice looking coat. It can be functional and stylish, right? We don't have to choose between those. It can definitely be warm enough for where you live and look nice. And in the winter, that's often the only part of your outfit that people see. We are going to leave the house at times, most of us. Remember last week we talked about going on those walks that are essential for our mental health, getting outside, getting some fresh air, um, leaving the house and just not being inside sometime. Well, you're going to need a coat for that. And it may as well be one that you love and that makes you feel fantastic so that when you name, wave to the neighbors from a distance, um, you're, per you're perfectly put together, right? And you feel good about it and you're not hiding and ducking your head and hoping nobody sees you. You also will maybe walk, drive through to pick up your groceries, right? Drive through at the pharmacy. <laughs> there are things we're going to have to pick up that don't come in the mail and we will be leaving our house. And this is a great time of year to get a great deal on a great coat. And in the shopping portal, there are several fantastic options for various uh, types of weather. And it's not just coats, like different types of layers. It might be a vest, it could be a cardigan, a coat again. 
there are lots of different layers to meet your needs and your style, but this is a great time to get one that you will love and wear for years to come. A few accessories can, oh, I didn't show you the coat. Huh? Let me open the picture. This is one I have had for years. I have this in a few different colors. It's my favorite coat. Um, I fe I'm featuring this exact coat in black for this year's wardrobe guide. I, I also have it in black and um, it, it has thin slit in it. So it's really warm, but it looks really chic. It doesn't have a hood, right? So if it's hood weather, then no. Um, I wouldn't wear it skiing. I'm not going skiing this winter, but in, you know, in previous winters, I did not wear this skiing if that's a different kind of coat. But I wear this, this coat for dressy and casual outfits. It's just, it's like a winter, it's like the winter version of a trench coat. I instantly feel chic when I put it on. Basic t-shirt and pants, add that coat, and I am a style icon with that one thing. <laughs> so it can be beautiful and functional. <clears throat> it keeps me very, very warm. And you know, remember where I came from in the last 10 years, it was so cold. And it, it comes in navy this year too. The black one's featured, but it also comes in navy. So a few accessories can make your outfit just feel special. And they don't have to be big or fussy or in your way. They can be a pair of studs that you leave in all the time and or some huggy hoops that never come out so that you're always accessorized. I did that for years. And when I travel, I do that. I take a pair of earrings that I can sleep in and I leave them in the whole trip. They can be a fun pair of statement earrings. It can be um, a simple necklace that you like to put on. It's easy, it's fast, you don't have to accessorize, but it makes your outfit feel complete. And it's a simple thing that can really elevate an outfit, even when you're staying home. So finally, I would say, get yourself something special. Oh, let me see if I can show you this. It's small. So uh, I hope you can see it. This necklace is very small, but it's just the right size for me. Someone else might like something bigger. Someone else might like something even smaller, but this is just a, a delicate version of a link chain necklace. It can be shorter. It can be up to 18 inches long, I think. And it's, um, it's really simple and easy to wear and I don't even feel it. It doesn't get in my way. And so there's no worry about that throughout, um, throughout my day as I'm going. I just have a little tray with my things. And as I'm getting dressed, I just grab some earrings. Sometimes I grab a necklace um, and, uh, and suddenly I feel, I feel finished. And as we're going, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them for me in the comments. Questions about winter wardrobe essentials, questions about the Stunning Style Society, the classic wardrobe guide. If you're still not sure, today is the last day to join. And if you have questions, I would love to answer them. So if you're just like, I'm not sure, say, hey, April, I'm not sure, and here's why, and we'll talk about it and see, um, see if it is right for you. So every wardrobe, you know, I've talked about so much about your basics. Cover your basics. We've talked about that several times this year. It's so important to make sure you have those essentials, the foundation wardrobe pieces that support your wardrobe and they support every outfit. And um, making sure that you've got the right ones means that you'll be able to wear everything else in your wardrobe. And so I've covered that for you in the wardrobe guide. You don't have to say, oh my gosh, what basics do I need? Do I have any basics? Do I have enough basics? 
I've covered them. They're in the guide and you don't have to get the exact ones that I have. You don't have to buy anything, but they show you what to look for in your closet. Do you have these items? These are items that will fill out the basics in a classic wardrobe. This is an outfit exclusively made up of basics. It is a basic black sweater, a basic pair of dark wash jeans. For me, the um, leopard flats are basics and they're neutral to me. I wear them all the time. They are a, they are a basic for my wardrobe. But like this sweater has um, a nice cable knit texture, if you can see that. Um, <clears throat> I've got on my statement earrings. I threw on my leopard belt. I happen to love belts. Not everybody does. And I could make, so there are, there's a black sweater featured in the guide. Um, I did a ton of denim shopping to find some great jeans for you. And these are the surprising winners are so unbelievably affordable. It's like they meet every budget every budget they're um half off right now for like 18 dollars i was shocked that these were the winners because i ordered a lot of jeans in every price point and i i was surprised so um these basics i could i could have made 100 outfits just with the, the sweater this black sweater i love black sweaters they go with everything. And um, your basics are essential, absolutely essential to your outfit. I can make 100 outfits just with those jeans, right? And you don't have to guess. Finally, get yourself something special. While we can't fill our closets with just special items, we do need a few to make our outfits and wardrobes feel special and fun. And especially this season, special and fun is something we're going to be short in and we need. While I personally look forward to wearing my basic black sweater over and over and over again, most people want a little something more interesting to light up more of their days than I might. And that's when a few of these special items come in. You don't have to buy anything of the special items that I included in the wardrobe guide. They really will probably inspire you to look at what you have in your closet and say, okay, I do have some favorites. I have some special things I would love more ways to wear and more ideas to use. And that's what we're doing. So one of the special items from the shopping portal is this um, cyan turtleneck. Uh, it's an optional item. Not everyone loves turtlenecks, but I love turtlenecks and I love this color. So this lights up my day wearing and my face. Wearing this sweater is, uh, it just makes me, it makes me happy to look down and see that I've got this sweater on. It's, it brings me joy to wear this color. Um, you might like something even more special. Uh, it could be a color, it could be a pattern, um, but special will look different for each of us. Another special item that I featured in the wardrobe guide is this leopard cardigan. Going back to layers, I it was it was like the very first thing that I was like, and this is going in in the wardrobe guide, one hundred percent, absolutely, without a doubt, it's included. If leopard isn't your thing, I also found other options, other types of layers in other patterns. There's zebra, there's houndstooth, there's, there are a lot of them. And uh, you can find the one that's perfect for you. But for me, this is special and I love wearing it. I wear it uh, at, during some part of my day, many of the days. Uh, walking to the bus stop in the dark of night with my little girls is not just a little less bad because I've got this, I throw this on to walk them to the bus stop. It's super warm. It's very thick and warm, um, very thick and warm. And so that is something special. And I look forward to uh, putting this on 
every time. And so I hope this list of winter wardrobe essentials that are cozy and chic so that you can maximize the cozy factor this winter, feel put together and pretty. We all want to feel pretty and, and nice and boost our moods and elevate our self-esteem and also be able to wear them in years to come because this is not going to last forever. We will get to do these things again. We will get to resume a more normal life again and you will need these things. And so the things I chose are items that work now and they will work next year and the year after and the year after. I would love to have you join me in the society. The doors close tonight and I would hate for you to miss out because once the doors close, we go back to the waiting list until next spring and you get the wardrobe guide. I did a whole sneak peek yesterday into the wardrobe guide, but you get the wardrobe guide. It's got for this season, it's 40 pieces that I've chosen. They're not, I don't, I don't make these, you're not buying this from these pieces from me. I don't have my own clothing line. They're from all different stores all over the internet. And, um, I created 100 outfits from them. It's a complete wardrobe that you could, if you want a capsule wardrobe, you could just have these 40 items. And I created a hundred outfits out of that, that you could wear something different every single day of the season, if you wanted to, because it, it, you know, there's so much variety there and you get a hundred outfit templates. And then I put them on uh, an outfit calendar for you. So you don't even have to choose your outfit for the day, which is a huge, huge benefit. That was actually something I did on a whim for a two week challenge once. And the members loved it so much. They were just like, please just tell us what to wear every day. And I was like, okay, I can do that. And that's how the calendars were born. Um, you get the shopping portal. First, we shop our closets, absolutely shop our closets. If there is anything else that you want or need, then the shopping portal is there for you. And I've done all the shopping for you and you can go into the shopping portal and uh, find exactly, exactly what you need. And if you're looking at um, the Black Friday sales and it's just so overwhelming, we talked about this before, like, oh my gosh, you just go around scooping up good deals because they're a good deal. Well, if you're shopping from a list, because you have a shopping list in here, like a shop your closet list, and then if you need anything, here's what you should be looking for for these Black Friday sales. Get the most from your money. You will save so much money by not shopping aimlessly this season. You will get exactly what you want and what you will actually wear and what will make your wardrobe more complete. And then you get access to the Stunning Style Society Facebook group. It's exclusive to members. You get access to me there. We basically do the Shop Your Closet Challenge every day. We wear our outfits from the calendar, if you want to. It's not required. Um, and show how we're shopping our closets and mixing it up and, and making them look perfectly like us and what our version of the calendar outfit looks like. So in the group, I do the weekly style steps. And each week I walk you through a step of curating your wardrobe. And right now we are working on shopping our closets because that's, that's where we head first. And we go through the season. And by the end, you have an album of outfits that you love and you're ready for a closet clean out if you choose it. Because we've been talking about it all season, what you love, what you don't figuring this out and you're able to go, mm -hmm, yeah, that's not me. It's time to let it go. And I love this. It's a definite keeper. And if I had had this, I think I could have just had a much more complete wardrobe and made this many more outfits. We focus on different things each season. And, um, so we're working on shopping our closets now, but one thing we'll be talking about is, how to pick the perfect sweater for you. It's these little details that make you love that sweater and never wear that sweater. 
So we're going to figure that out, dial it in for you so that you don't make any more sweater shopping mistakes because this is the season when we buy our sweaters, right? And so much more. You have an exclusive website, a dashboard where you can access all of your things, and the community and the Facebook group is just incredible. Some of the most incredible, supportive, kind, welcoming, positive women I know. And I love spending time with them. So if you like these style snacks, you will love the style steps because we go much more specific and much more in depth. And um, it's so helpful. You don't have to do it by yourself. I hope you'll join me in the society. You can learn more by going to stunningstyle.com forward slash society. And I mean, obviously I feel passionately about it. I, uh, it's so helpful. And it's something fun that you can do this winter when maybe some of your other fun isn't quite, uh, quite always available. So before I, uh, before I get into the questions and answers, I promised you the cheese pants story on Friday. We had gone too long on Friday and I couldn't, there was just too much, you know, anyway. So I promised it to you and I will tell it to you. So uh, if you're new here, hi, welcome. <laughs> um, my oldest three are triplets. I had five kids in three years. And then three years later, we had our sixth. And so we had six in six years. But in those early years, like I was just a walking freak show. Just it's not normal to give birth to a daycare. And um we drew a lot of attention when we went out. There was no way for us to move around in public without drawing just obscene amounts of attention. And since there was no way to hide it, I just decided to go with the easiest ways of getting around, right? So I had my triplet stroller. And then when my fourth was born, um, I had a quad stroller actually. Uh, that thing was a heavy beast, but I also had this choo-choo wagon and it was three separate cars that were connected and they were like neon colors. Each car was like this big and there was the next one and the next one and it came with the three that were permanently attached and you could buy extras. I don't even know if they make this wagon anymore, but you could buy additional cars and extend your train. And so uh, right after my fourth was born and I got the all clear from my doctor after my C-section that I could drive again, I needed to get out of the house. It was spring. The weather was beautiful. I needed to get out of the house. I needed to see people. I needed to not necessarily talk to anybody, but I just wanted to go somewhere, not home. And so I loaded the babies up and our choo-choo wagon and we went to this really nice outdoor shopping center. We lived in Atlanta at the time. And I just, you know, I just wanted to window shop. I wasn't going to buy anything. You know, I just had a baby, nothing fit. I was still in maternity clothes, but it, you know, I wanted to look at the pretty things in the windows, walk through the stores and see something that wasn't maternity wear. And it was a beautiful day. There were so many people there and we were such a circus. All we needed was theme music and flashing lights. It's the only possible way I could have gotten any more attention than I was. You know, everyone was staring. That's what always happened. So I wandered in and out of every single store, whether it was a store I wanted to shop in or not. I walked up and down the sidewalks, the trees were blooming, it was gorgeous. And at the end, you know, I stayed for about an hour. Um, I went back to my car and I loaded everybody back up. You know, I'm bending, I had a minivan, so I'm like lifting the choo-choo wagon, kind of hefting it. It wasn't super heavy, but you know, I'm bending over in my in my minivan and like wrangling this thing because it didn't fit very easily rear in the air and then I walked around to get into the car and I just swept my hand across my seat. I have this habit. I swept my hand across the seat of my dark wash maternity jeans and there was an entire slice of American cheese 
stuck to my rear end. A whole slice. No one said a word to me and I know they saw it. Not a word. You could not have missed it. Nobody didn't see me and nobody did not see that cheese on my pants and nobody said a word. Why would you not say something to me? I walked around for an hour with cheese on my butt. And that is my cheese pants story. I might have sat in my car and cried for a minute <laughs> just because, you know, my life was so absurd <laughs> in every way. And that was just one more thing. Oh my word. That's not even the most embarrassing story I have, but that was a good one. And so if you ever see anybody with cheese on their pants, please tell them. I will tell you if I tell people you, and you think, oh, I don't want to embarrass them. Well, they're being embarrassed. They just don't know it yet. And you can prevent the rest of their embarrassment. It doesn't mean shout it across the room. Hey, you got cheese on your pants, but a discreet, there's actually an entire slice of cheese stuck to the back of your pants. And I will stand behind you and cover it while you peel it off. That's, that's the kind thing to do. And I do it for people. I hope you will too. Okay, so that was my cheese pants story. I hope it met your expectations. Um, and I can honestly say that's not the last time I've sat in something. But now I'm more diligent about checking for it. Okay, let's check out the comments and questions. And if you have any comments or questions for me, go ahead and leave them now so we can uh, uh, chat. Hi, Kimberly, hi, thank you for putting your name because I, if you haven't clicked the link or even if you haven't, sometimes it doesn't work. I can't see your name, it just says Facebook either. So thank you, Kimberly, for putting your name. I love Thanksgiving, I have Southern roots and this is a serious meal. Even though this Thanksgiving will look a bit different, I am pulling out all the stops. Wedding china, fancy tablecloth that I picked up in Italy. I hope you have a fantastic holiday. I know it will all look great. Thank you, Kimberly. And Kimberly's a member of the society, so I know she'll look great. And I love that you're pulling out all the stops. Get fancy, get fancy. My husband was like, you know, one thing we could do while we're sheltering at home is dress up, like have a dress up dinner and basically do what you're saying like all of us dress up in our nice clothes make a fancy meal together um i mean beyond thanksgiving and um and you know i think that sounds like fun have a fancy dessert just you know i think that'll be fun i love what you're doing get out all the fancy stuff and it is a serious meal like you do not you do not mess with the menu you don't play with the recipes Better is not better, the same is better. Do not adjust the size of the celery in the dressing. Do not change the flavor of the ice cream that goes with the strawberry cake. None of it. We want it just how we want it. This meal is, is set in stone. Um, and I hope you have a fantastic Thanksgiving too, Kimberly. Debbie says, April with the leopard print pants, how much bulk do the welt, welt pockets add to my shape zero because they're fake pockets i well i have a pear shape and so pockets that flare out like that i stitch them shut these aren't actual pockets i'm actually wearing these pants right now there's they're they're fake there's nothing in there <clears throat> and there are no pockets on the back either so zero they will add zero um, bulk to your shape. Karen, hi Karen, thanks for putting your name, says, I never go barefoot either. Yeah, I just, I can't, oh, I still cut this picture up. Sorry, while I'm talking, a lot of times I can't see my screen, but I can now. Um, I, yeah, I mean, I love to be barefoot, but I can't, it just kills my knees and my back. And so, yeah, I wear shoes in the house. And for a lot of people, that's like a no-no. But my knees and my back come first, and I'll just have to sweep and mop more often. 
Marianne says, are the magic pants you've been talking about listed as such in the guide or in your description of the pants? So I listed the, I, I put it in the description of the pants in the guide. And um, I talked about them yesterday, if you saw that when we shopped my closet in the style step, and I talked about them during the try on. But if um, we can, if you ask in the group, we can be we can direct you to them, but they're, they're the two black pants. Um, they're the two black pant options that are featured. So those are bo both of them. Corinne says, is there a large time commitment for the Stunning Style Society? I work full time remotely, care for mom and hospice in my home and elderly father, wondering if I have enough time to devote this. Well, Corinne, first of all, you are an absolute angel for caring for your mom and father. And I'm sorry your mom's in hospice. Um, but, you know, what a gift and blessing you are to them. And I love that you're looking for a way to find something that's for you. Because um, I can tell you from personal experience that when you give, 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 and then give when you have nothing left to give, your body can fall apart. I paid a very high price with some very serious health problems for doing that. And um, finding little ways to refill your well means that you'll be able to serve them better and um, still have some of your own happiness. But also if you fall apart, like if you fall apart, you won't be able to help them the way that you want to and they need you to. So. Uh, first, I wanted to say that. Second of all, the time commitment is only as much as you want to put into it. And so none of it is required. And the done for you part will make your life easier and better. So I've curated the wardrobe guide and you should can pretty quickly go through and say, okay, I've got these things grab them and we talk about exactly how to shop your closet and put it together in the front of my closet done i've created the outfits for you and i put them on this calendar and so you you can get dressed quickly without having to um put much thought into it so that's done for you and if you're like oh gosh i need i need a new black sweater mine's worn out and i just love wearing it i don't have time to go shopping for a black sweater well, I did it for you. I did all the shopping for you. And it's right there in the shopping portal for you for convenience. So that whole part is the convenience side for very busy people or people are women who just, you know, they want to look great and put together, but they'd rather spend their time doing other things. Right. And then the style steps, um, they can also take as much or as little time as you want. You don't have to do any of them. And you can jump in to any of them wherever you are without catching up on the others. So while they add up to a cumulative effect, um, you can skip any of the ones you want and jump in where you are and get full benefit from that style step. It can be a great thing to look forward to once a week that's just for you, like just a little me time. Um, and the videos, it depends on the style step. The first two are longer because I'm trying things on and, and uh, for everyone. But 30, 45 minutes, the, the style step portion of the video. And then, you know, like this, we go into the Q&A. <laughs> that can take longer because we have fun chatting. <laughs> but um, you don't have to watch the Q&A. And just that 30, that 30 minute video once a week can really be something for you to look forward to as me time if you can fit it in and so whatever amount of time you'll get you'll get a no matter what you put into it you'll get a lot of benefit just from knowing what to pull together having the outfits picked out for you and even knowing which outfit to wear that day um and then whatever other additional part you want to put into it is all up to you but uh, we would love to have you and love to be a support system and uh, outlet for you when you just need something, something else, something lighthearted and something that's just 
for you in, in some self-care. And, and you will find friends in the group who are in similar situation as you are. Um, so I hope that answered your question. If it didn't, you know, follow up and, and I'll try to answer it better. Wendy says, I love your cyan turtleneck, especially paired with your burgundy lip color. It's so good. Thank you. I love it too. Judy says, is the leopard sweater black or navy? I love the look, maybe too warm for Florida though. Judy, do you mean the cardigan? It's black. It's very warm. In Florida, it would probably serve as a coat in the chilly evenings, like it's that warm. Um, I, I know you get your cold snaps. It depends on where in Florida you are. Um, so there, it, it would not be a 70 day, a 70 degree day sweater, you'd die. It, was, it would be way too warm. But there are other options as well. And, you know, it could be a great one for the evening or during those uh, little cold snaps that come in. Wendy says, oh boy, I didn't know this was in the portal. So tempting. It's there for you. <laughs> A uh, Facebook user says, April, can you show us your outfit for today? I'm not always sure how to wear a turtleneck. I always use them as layering pieces. Oh, yeah, I can stand up. I haven't taken my picture yet today because I've been uh, working on all this kind of stuff. Um, but I'm actually wearing it with the black leopard pants from the guide. And my chair is black, so it's hard to see. But... Um, they're the ones with the black on black print and they've got the uh, faux leather tuxedo stripe. This, I can't move this camera very easily, so I can't, I have to just move myself. Um, and here's the welt faux pocket. Um, I rarely layer with my turtlenecks. I wear them alone. Uh, I, uh, I might put on a cardigan over it. Um, this is a sweater, a thin, a thin sweater. It's not a t-shirt. Um, and so I wear them with jeans. I wear them with pants. I just wear them like I would any other sweater or t-shirt. I love them. I know not everybody loves turtlenecks, but I love them. Um, and they work great for late as layering pieces for those that, that love that as well. But I, I'll, be to, I'll take my outfit picture this afternoon um, and then I'll post it um, and hopefully that, that helps you. But yeah, I mean, well, this one's, a, this is a turtleneck too. And I'm wearing this with just jeans and flats. I mean, for jeans and booties, I pair them with jeans all the time. Just, uh, are there any other, do I have any others open? This one I wore with a skirt. That one is a half sleeve turtleneck. This is when it was still, you know, the weather was kind of transitioning, but I also have a long sleeve one just like it because I love it. Um, Those are the only two that I have like immediately accessible. Um, but yeah, I love them. Lynette says, being a member of Stunning Style for the last two years has been such a wonderful experience. April's helped me hone my style and save money with great purchases. The compliments on my outfits are numerous. I no longer buy items I do not wear and have learned to thrift for great items too. Best gift I have bought myself. Lynette. Thank you so much for sharing that. We love you, Lynette. And that's another thing, like a lot of our members thrift and we love to see their treasures. Like, yeah, like that, is, oh yeah. And some of them make their own clothes. Um, one of our members was knitting her own scarf and I was like, oh my gosh, like you people are so talented, so talented. And we just love to see you expressing your talents. And she's like, and I think I'm just gonna whip up another one with some other colors. And I'm like, that would take me like a year and it would be hideous. <laughs> no one would wear it. And she's just whipping them out. So yeah, 
we, we some of them shop their closets exclusively some thrift some make some of their own stuff like we all make it work with our own budgets because we always stick to our budget we talk about that a lot um judy says great cheese pit store is worth waiting for well i'm glad and kathy is laughing um yeah it's <laughs> you know i i like to laugh at myself I cannot always laugh in the moment. And in that moment, you know, I was exhausted. I had four kids, 18 months and younger. I had just had yet another C-section. Like nothing was funny, <laughs> but it wasn't too long after that it was funny. And, um, and I like, I like sharing this stuff because, you know, let's, let's laugh. Let's have some moments of joy. And if I can make you laugh, then, then that makes me happy. So I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Another Facebook user says, oh my, I am in tears laughing. Oh, it's Jen Meyer. You poor thing. We've all been there. I'm glad you're laughing, Jen. I, I'm glad because we have all been there. It may not have been cheese, but it's been something. You know, my, uh, we were getting out of the car to go to church and my daughter was wearing a dress that had, um, you know, a tulle skirt, but it has all the other layers underneath it. And those layers were all tucked into her tights or her underwear or something. And I'm like, hold on just a second before we cross the parking lot and show it. Like they were even tucked into, yeah, it was even tucked into her underwear because I could see the pattern of her underwear. Let's just fix this really quickly. And I had flashbacks to a time when I had tucked my skirt into my tights or hose or whatever they were and walked down the hall and I was not 10. Let's just say that. And so I always do the skirt sweep too. Like I'm always checking my backside now because we've had enough of those, enough of those incidents. So she wasn't super worried about it because she's 10, but I'm like, you're welcome. You'll thank me later. Uh, another Facebook user says my whole family is just recovering from COVID. I am so sorry that you've had that. I hope you had uh, the least bad version of it. It's just amazing how varied the reactions are. So I hope you didn't feel very awful and I'm, I'm glad you're recovering. Um, we've ordered Thanksgiving dinner from Cracker Barrel. Very different from us, but we, and it looks like you got cut off. Can't say no to Thanksgiving dinner from Cracker Barrel. You'll be doing okay. That's, that'll still be a really good Thanksgiving. <laughs> Love some Cracker Barrel. It's good. Um, Debbie says, thank you, April. Well, you're welcome. Sandra says, can I purchase the spiral bound booklet? So um, the, the guides, are, it's a download. It's a digital product that you can download. And there, I, there are multiple versions you can download. There's the digital version, which is optimized for viewing on your um, computer or your phone or your tablet or whatever. And then I also upload a different version that's meant to be printed and formatted differently for printing. Um, I do not print and ship and mail these members. I go to a print shop and get this printed. Some members print them at home with their, with their own printers. But the ones who do that usually just print specific parts of it. Um, so, and then some people don't print it at all. They just use the digital version. I didn't print it until I started printing it a year ago in the fall because I was, I needed to be able to show it to you. Right. Uh, and I really like having a printed version. I, and I like, I like holding real books. We talked about this last week, so I won't go into my love of real books, but, um, so you don't have to print it, but I, I don't have any way to print and bind and send them to you. I, I actually, yesterday I, I talked to the print shop where I was and like the manager and I were like trying to um, uh, brainstorm how we could do that. But it, it, by the time, you know, everything added up, it just would, it got to a price point where it would just be kind of too expensive for you when you could just as easily get it less expensive at your own shop, you know? So, I mean, we're trying to figure out a way to offer that convenience, but I have not found one yet that wouldn't make it 
too expensive for you. Like the price, I'm like, I wouldn't pay that for the printed version. That's too much. Like, you know, it needs to be reasonable. So if I do find one and a way to do it, we would definitely love to offer that. But currently that it, I haven't found a way to make it at a reasonable price point. MPOTX says, I absolutely love those leopard pants. I keep looking and thinking, but haven't purchased yet. Well, can I just tell you, these are my Thanksgiving pants because they're pull on and they have an elastic waist and they're so comfortable. Like, you know, I, I will probably eat until I'm sick for Thanksgiving dinner because I want some of everything and it's so good. And this meal only comes once a year and then, oh, I miss it. Some things anyway. Um, yeah, these are my Thanksgiving pants. Your jeans are just a little too tight for that. <laughs> They're so comfortable. Amy J says, great ideas for a Christmas list. Thank you, April. Well, you're welcome. And you know, one of the best parts is with the shopping portal, there's a favoriting option. So you can add things to your favorites list. And then you're just like, hello, person who wants to buy me a gift. Here is a list of the things that I love and would love. And here are my sizes. And I wouldn't be mad if any of this showed up under the tree. And then your husband or your mom or your best friend or your boyfriend or your sister or whoever's got you this year gets to be a hero and you get to be surprised. I talked about that last week, so I won't go into that whole story, um, but it's it's so convenient. And the membership is a great gift idea. If you want the membership and um, it's a little outside of your budget, ask for it as a gift. It's a gift that keeps giving. I mean, it's the annual membership gets you this guide and, and the style stuffs and everything for four seasons for an entire year. I mean, what oh, convenience, style, friendship, a curated closet. What better gift is that? Like, it, it's a great gift. So add it to your Christmas list, y'all, and just say, hey, you can deliver it early because I just want it right now. But this is what I would love for Christmas. So, and then, or, you know, something from the wardrobe guy or from the shopping portal. Also excellent, excellent ideas for Christmas gifts. These are all the questions and comments I currently see. They don't always show up for me until after the fact. And sometimes I miss them. And if I miss yours, I apologize. Um, but I want to thank you for being here and for being part of my life. You know, this is a season of gratitude and I want you to know how grateful I am for you and that you spend time with me each week and that we get to have these fun conversations um, every week and that you brighten my Wednesdays. It, I really do. I look forward to it and I enjoy this community so much. It's so positive and um, it's, it's a big part of my life and I just, I'm thankful for all of you. So thank you for being here. Usually we do our style snacks on Wednesdays at 1 p.m. Eastern time, but you've seen me seven times in the last week or so. And I think we've all had enough of April on television. So, and I have to cook cooking. I've got to get cooking. Uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm in trouble. So I will be cooking today and tomorrow and getting this Thanksgiving feast ready and dinner might be a little later than usual on Thursday, but I will be back a week from tomorrow at our usual time at 1 PM Eastern time. And, um, with another style snack for you, I would love to see you in the stunning style society. I would love to help you with your winter classic wardrobe. And if you want to learn more, if you want to join, you can go to stunningstyle.com forward slash society to join or to learn more. And I cannot wait to see you in the group. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. I hope you have a fantastic Thanksgiving and that you can find ways to bring joy to your holiday, even if it's not exactly the holiday celebration that you would have chosen. 
have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you in the society, hopefully, in next week. <laughs>